And Peter uh, stood up and looked at him and he says, you know, silver and gold we don't have, but what we do have, we give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ, stand up and walk. And, and the man, 40 years old, he got up and he started walking. Now this was a miracle because, particularly because the man was 40 years old. And they arrested Peter and John and threw them in jail. And they told them, you know, never to preach or teach in the name of Jesus. And what happened? You know, what happened there? Again, these, the, the, they said, aren't these men, these ignorant men who used to hang out with Jesus? They knew that. And they knew that something, something happened to them. Or it was the day of Pentecost that made that difference when the Holy Ghost, that power, that Deuteronomy's power, came upon them and gave them, it light their hearts up. It set them on fire. Now they're on fire and the fire can't go out. And wherever they go, they were preaching life, not death. You see, and this is what happens. So point number six, when you receive Christ as your, as your Savior and Lord, and the Holy Spirit comes to dwell in you, and then you get the power, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When you get this, then you are light, you are lit up like fire. You become the light of the world now. You know, and you can go about now, and you have the power. Mark 16, 17 says, and these are the signs will follow them that believe and receive the Holy Ghost. They'll cast out devils. They'll speak in tongues. You know, in, 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 in Acts 4.31 it says, And after they had prayed, the place where they were was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak the word with all boldness. And this is what happens. You know, look at Cornelius in Cornelius' house. Acts chapter 10. He's, he's, he's a Gentile. You know, and they sent for Peter. Through a vision, God, God tells him, go, go see, get a man named Peter, you know, he's down on, a, down on a street called Straight, go there, you'll find him. He goes, and he comes back, brings Peter, and Peter, the Bible says, as Peter began to speak, he didn't even preach the word, he didn't even have a chance to even tell them how he was with Jesus on the hill, and how he saw how we saw uh, uh, Jesus and Moses and Elijah and how we heard God the Father telling them, this is he, listen to him. You know, he, before he could even speak, the Bible says, and the Holy Ghost fell on all of them. And you could hear them speaking in tongues and prophesying, you know. So God wants to give, uh, to give us the Holy Spirit. He wants to give anyone the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, if we as parents... If we as parents so evil can give our children good gifts, how much more would, would our Father give us the Holy Spirit if we ask Him? So, point number six, that we would lead people to Christ. He wants to bless you, that you may become a blessing to others. And what, what's the greatest blessing that you can, you can give somebody? You lead someone to Christ that they may receive that free gift of the Holy Ghost, that they may receive. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world. What did He do? He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever, my friend, when the Bible uses the word whosoever, it reaches out to the ends of the earth. It reaches out to the ends of the earth. Whosoever shall believe will not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever. In Acts 2, 37 and 38, you know, when, when Peter preached, you know, the, the, the men, they all said, but what shall we do, man? He says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this gift is not just for you alone, but it's for your children. You know, and for your children, children, and for as many as God may want to call. And even those that are far off. So my friend, you can stay here in this country and you can pray to the Father. You can pray in the name of Jesus. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. You know, study His Word, remain in His Word, be obedient unto His Word. You can pray and ask God, God, you know, please save my friend. You know, send someone in their way, Lord. You, know, you can do this for as many that are far off. Acts 16, 31, the jailer was going to kill himself. And, 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 and Paul and Silas said, no, don't do it. And then he said, well, what shall I do now? I'm going to die anyways. He says, just believe, my friend, in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Not just you, but you and your whole house shall be saved. 
And this is the wonder, this is the wonderful work of God the Father when he sends this. So point number six, that they may lead others to Christ, that they too may receive this wonderful gift of love, which is Jesus Christ. Point number seven, that they may persevere in the faith and finally be with Christ in heaven. Now, my friend, let's look at verse 24. Verse 24, it says, Father, I will, this is my will, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Jesus says, Father, I will that they be with me. I want them to come with me. Where is Jesus? In heaven. So he's praying that we all end up in heaven. But there is something. There is something that's very important. And that is, we need to persevere in the faith. Persevere in the faith. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this very carefully. It says here, in, in the book of Acts, Acts 20, Acts chapter 20. Listen to what happens to Paul here. Verses 22. Listen to this. Paul says, this is what Paul is saying. He says, And now behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem. Paul is going bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. He's compelled to go. This is the same Paul who was persecuting all the Christians in Acts 9, chapter 9. The Bible says that Paul, he got a, a letter, he got authorization to go and capture anyone that he, he saw and heard uh, 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 praising and, and accepting Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. And that he would have chained them and bring them back. And on his way, Acts 9, 5 says on his way, you know, Jesus confronted him, the Bible says, and he heard a voice saying, Paul, Paul, why are you persecuting me? It is very dangerous for you to persecute me. You cannot kick against the bricks. It is not.